Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today I have an item from a slightly different category than I normally do. We'll just say this is part of the um, do-it-yourself, real-time health monitoring. <laughs> okay, so this item comes from a company called Youngro. Hope I pronounced that correctly. And the device itself is fingertip pulse oximeter. Oximeter? All right. So you've actually probably seen these in use, especially like in the hospital type environment. And it's a little device you see on the end of the patient's finger and it's taking readings. So what is it doing exactly? Well, if you look at the last word, um, think, well, well, fingertip, we know where it goes on the finger. Pulse, that's important, but we'll talk about the pulse part later. Um, the last word, though, is the most important. If you take that word apart, you have oxy and meter. So most likely it has something to do with counting or reading oxygen. And well, that's pretty much right on. So what this device does is it calculates as a percentage just how oxygenated your blood is. Why is that important? Well, as you know, blood goes all over your body and it brings oxygen to all parts of you. So whether it just be the skin on your foot or something as important as your brain, it all needs oxygen. And all the better if there's more oxygen in that blood, right? Okay. So um, now, how does this bill calculate that? Does it like poke you with needles and take little blood samples? No, no, no. It's actually way better, um, way less um, pricky or intrusive. Okay, so how it works is this device shines two uh, lights, okay? One is red and the other one's infrared. The idea here is that oxygenated blood is brighter than blood without oxygen. So it's gonna take a few readings um, one's kind of like a base reading where it calculates like the um, brightness or the reading of all the blood, but then it waits for the pulse, and that's why pulse is part of the name of this device. And it's important because when this pulse happens, that's when it takes a reading of predominantly the the oxygenated blood, the bright blood. Okay, then since it has those numbers, it can put them up as a fraction and do you know divide and turn it into a percentage. So if this device shows, we'll say, 96%, that means each one of your red blood cells is made up of 96% oxygenated hemoglobin, and while well, the remaining 4% doesn't have the oxygen. So that would be a pretty good read, all right? Um, so, okay, um, now, uh, since we kind of have an idea of how these things work, let's go ahead and take a look around the box. Okay, so... Here we have, um, let's read what it says underneath. It says, real-time monitoring of changes in blood, oxygen saturation, and pulse rate. Alarm function can be set to remind health status. All right, so, okay. I also should mention that they do come in a few colors. Um, you can see we have blue and green, and I think there were two other colors. I think like yellow and maybe pink. Well, anyway. Um, Okay, so we have a picture of the item in two colors, so the available four, and a pretty clean picture. Okay, now let's look around on the side here. So, um, let me zoom in on this. All right, go ahead and pause the video if you want to take time to read all that. Some important info there. All right, let's continue. All right. On the back, we there are some um, Chinese characters right there, quite tiny. And then, all right, I'll zoom in on this portion. All right, so it appears this Young Ro brand is part of a company called uh, Zuzhou Yang Kang Electronic Science Technology Company. And of course, that's in China. And notice how it says not just made in China, but rather People's Republic of China. Don't usually see it um, written out that way, but okay. And then below, um, you can now there's the stuff about Germany. So I was wondering what's going on here. My first thought was this, it's one of those things that's designed in Germany and then sold or made in China. But actually, this bottom stuff um, relates to a consulting company um, that goes by the name of EU Links. So EU Links, U Links. And I, the whole idea here is that it makes it easier for this product to be sold in Europe um, because this company does things like about uh, certificates of registration and you know uh, legislation monitoring and all that stuff so I'm not gonna get into all that dry legal stuff but I think the reason that's kind of um, important that this is on there is it really looks like this company here 
is really trying to make sure this can be sold all over the place and have some, you know, I guess paperwork behind it, if that makes any sense. Okay, let's continue. All right, and then over here, of course, the brand name, real big. Uh, all right, also I noticed there, there is a seal there. Not a super fancy seal, but a seal nonetheless. Okay, so um, impressions of the packaging. Actually, I kind of like it. Um, since this item is a relatively small item, having it in a kind of little compact box like this, um, I don't know, it just se it seems to make sense, and in a way it's kind of quote, quote, cute. All right, um, and it's, uh, yeah, a lot of use of light colors, white, and you have these kind of light blues and stuff, so it kind of gives this kind of relaxing, calm, kind of clean uh, vibe off. Nothing really super striking, no neon oranges or anything like that, no lightning bolts, and that makes sense. Um, so, okay, so I think the package is pretty effective, and um, yeah, so, so far so good. Oh, I forgot to show, there's a big barcode over here, and of course I got the blue version. Um, so, okay, so let's get to the unboxing. Alright, so we'll go ahead and cut that seal on the bottom. Oh, look, we got a cool little travel case. So, alright. Overall smooth, um, and it also is one of those harder cases, so it doesn't deform that easily, i.e. protects the device. It has a zipper that goes almost entirely all the way around, just minus the hinge portion here at the back. Alright, so I, actually the instruction manual was tucked away in there and I just found it. But yeah, so I went ahead and opened it up and you can see it's uh, multiple panels and we even have like little keys of what each icon means and then little screenshots and uh, yeah this is all actually written in English I haven't read it yet but um, that's so far it's looking pretty good so alright uh, looks like I have some reading to do but let's continue with the item oh, there it is okay so there's our little I guess lanyard attach it to your wrist or whatever and then here's the device itself there's, we have a little film protecting the screen it looks like a single button operation just one button there this is the hinge I suppose you press back here yep <laughs> okay and uh, if we can look in there you can see there is okay yeah so that the black there is um, kind of like a rubber it stops your finger from slipping and then you can see there's a little clear what looks like a lens on the bottom and then also one on the same setup on the other side so I'm assuming the light transmits between those two or whatever okay and then uh, let me zoom in on the back here all right so well, cool. So we have a date, manufacturer, a lot number even. And then it even tells us how this thing's powered. It takes two AAA batteries. Alright, let's go ahead and check out the battery compartment. Really simple to remove that. Just slide it off. And there we go. Um, so yeah, two AAA batteries. Alright. So, um, all right, so far, it's pretty much what I expected. Um, it feels pretty light, but again, keep in mind the batteries are not in here yet. So far, so good. So let me go ahead and power this thing up. All right, so I go ahead and put in the batteries. Uh, let's go ahead and test it out. So first open it up, put in finger all the way to the end. By the way, your fingernail has to be pointing up, so your fingernail should be pointing towards the side with the screen on it. Once your finger's inserted, push the button. Oh, look at that. It's working. Cool. It's a two-color screen, so you get the blue and yellow, so it's cool. You get some contrast, not just all one color. It's nice and bright, easy to read, even with the 
relatively strong lights I have in this room. You can still easily see what's on the display. Looks like we have a little battery meter to show you how much battery life you have left. And um, I'm getting 96, which is good. Um, so let me pull my finger out real quick here. <laughs> and it does have auto shut off, so it'll shut off in the, when it doesn't detect a finger in there. So there we go. So, so just going back to the instructions for a second, I wanted to show you the six different display modes. So once the device is running and you, you have your reading, by pushing the main power button uh, again, you change over to the next display mode shown here. So you can cycle through all six. So I went ahead and attached the included lanyard. And you can see that's working. Also I'd like to point out that this material here is nice and soft. Um, a lot of uh, included lanyards on items such like this, they usually come with that material very similar to the adjustment straps on backpacks. <laughs> and but this is nice and soft by contrast which is good because uh, well this is sliding across the back of your neck you shouldn't get that abrasion um, so it's like they thought of that as well okay now um, let's go ahead and talk about the numbers um, now the number displayed on here when you do your reading is going to depend on a couple things one thing that can drastically affect it is what you've been doing right before you took the reading meaning if you just got done doing a real hard workout at the gym and your blood's pumping and oh, you're kind of worn out if you take a reading obviously it's going to be different than if you were relaxed for the last two hours watching TV so um, for the range let's just assume that all participants are at rest and are you know relatively relaxed okay so with that being the case if you take a reading and you get 94 percent or higher that's good um, now if you have from 90 to 94 you might want to look into it perhaps you have a pre-existing condition something like maybe asthma or COPD all right and if you have anything below 90 for prolonged periods of time, that's reason for concern. Um, so, yeah, definitely have that looked into. And uh, as a disclaimer, this is you know kind of a device for quick you know at a glance information, and this should no way be used in a substitute for actually seeing the health professional. So, yeah, okay. Now with that out of the way. All right, so I had the chance to use this a little bit and test it. I wanted to show you one thing because I don't believe I did earlier. It's about how to get to the menu. So while the device is on, if you push and hold the power button, it brings you to this menu. And you can see you can adjust a few things in there. You navigate it by well, pushing the power button since it's the only button. And get down to exit if you want to leave and then push and hold. And you're back here. All right, so uh, with that covered, let me get to the test results. How I decided to test this was against another machine. This is a machine you've probably seen in your supermarket, drugstore, convenience store, etc. And that is the automated blood check, automated blood pressure checking machine. Of course, they come by different names, but that's essentially what it is. So, in case you are one of the few who hasn't seen one of these, it's essentially uh, has a screen up in front. It has a chair, and then on the left side, usually there is an um, a cuff that you slide your arm in. You push the start button, and it contracts, and it takes your blood pressure. And the more advanced machines have other things you can test, like height and weight and all that. But anyway, so on that machine, besides obviously showing your blood pressure, it also shows your pulse and beats per minute. So I went ahead and ran through the whole test, the checking my blood pressure. I did it twice, and the whole time I had this on the other hand. So how accurate was this? Well. The on the first trial, the machine brought back, this being the blood pressure checking machine, brought back a BPM of 90, and this device showed, you guessed it, 90. So it was spot on. Then I decided to run it again just to make sure, and that time um, the blood pressure checking machine came back with an 84 B BPM, and this showed 83. So in both cases, this is either directly on or at least very, very close. So now, as far as the whole how much oxygen is in your blood, that that um, the blood pressure checking machine has no way of testing that. So I won't be able to do a side-by-side -side on that particular metric. However, I'm just going to, I guess, 
assume or extrapolate that if it was this machine, this little device here was so on with the beats per minute that perhaps it's also accurate with the other metric that it records. Um, however, I would still like to test that, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it there, um, and I guess that'll bring us to our conclusion. So, uh, would I recommend this? Um, yes, it's an easy choice because A, this thing device is very affordable, B, it's super easy to use, and C, it's also very easy to carry. Um, so you can always have it in your pocket. I, actually, I carried this in my breast pocket. Well, that stuck out a little bit, but the point is, is if I could even fit it in there, it's easily going to fit in like your pants pocket or purse or whatever you're carrying. So, and I believe since you'll pretty much always have it with you, you'll be more inclined to keep checking up. You know, how am I doing right now? You know, slap on the finger, push the button. And I think that's a big uh, bonus because anything more bulky or perhaps uncomfortable, you're not going to be as likely to use it as much.